Good morning, boys and girls. We are on lesson eight, and our I can statement for today is I can relate manipulative representations to the addition algorithm. So we're going to be using um, some place value charts. We're going to use the vertical method. We're going to practice some of our skills. Um, and we have an application problem as well as a fluency sprint. So make sure you have extra pieces of paper for that as well. Let's get started. Here is our sprint. Um, it's a two digit addition sprint. Remember you have two minutes to complete this sprint or get as many problems done as you can. When your timer goes off, you're gonna put your pencils down, hands go up, and you get ready for part B. All right, good luck. All right, boys and girls, here's part B. Remember your goal for part B is to get one more than you did on part A. You're still going to set your timer for two minutes. And when your timer goes off, your pencil goes down and your hands go up. All right, good luck. All right, here's our application problem for today. It says, Susan has 37 pennies. MJ has 54 more pennies than Susan. Part A asks, how many pennies does MJ have? And part B asks, how many pennies do they have all together? So back here, I have split it into two sides because there's two parts to our problem. So this is part A. We've read our problem, so I'm gonna check off that. And I have down 37 plus 55 because Susan had 37. And they said that MJ had 55 more than Susan. So if he had 55 more, you need to add that to what Susan had to figure out how much he had. So I already have my 37 drawn on my place value chart. Now I need to add my 55. Remember, we always start in our ones column, so I'm going to add 7 plus 5. The 7's already there, so I have to add 5 more. Now let's count how many ones we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Remember, you cannot have more than 10 in the column, so you have the circle. 10 ones, and you're going to exchange that in for one ten. So now you have two ones, and you brought that exchanged in your ten tens for one ten. So you have that there. You have the three from the thirty seven, the one ten you exchanged, exchanged, and I have to add your five more for fifty five. So one, two, three, four. Five. All right, let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine tens and two ones. So we have 92. So MJ has 92 pennies. So we've drawn our picture and we've written our sentence for that. Now we're going to come over here to this part where we've already read our problem. And now we need to find out how many MJ and Susan have all together. So we have Susan's 37 pennies. And how many did we say MJ had? Good, we figured out he has 92. So we're gonna add 37. So one, two, three, tens, and seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. And now we need to add our 92. So we're gonna add Two, in our ones column first, we're going to add two ones. So let's count how many ones we have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have to do anything. And now we have three plus nine. So the three is already there. Let's add our nine more tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's count how many tens we have now. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Too many, so we're going to trade in 10 tens for 100. So now we only have two tens left. And we trade in 100. There's nothing in the ones col hundreds column yet, so we're just going to put it right here. So he 129. So Susan and MJ have 100. 29 pennies all together. 
Nice work. So we've read our poem, we've drawn our picture, and we've written our word sentence for that. Nice work. Now it says we're going to do 303 plus 37, and we're going to use that, we're going to solve that doing it on a place value chart and in vertical form. So if we were together, we would use our place value chart and disks to help us solve this. But since you're home, you could just draw 100 tens and ones place value chart and follow along. Okay, so back here, I have my 100 tens and ones my place value chart. And I turned my problem into a vertical way. So 303 plus 37. Remember to line up your ones column, your tens column, and if there's a hundreds column, line that up too. So first I'm going to draw my 303 because that's my biggest number and it's on top. So three hundreds, one, two, three. There's no tens and three ones. So I've done my 303 and now I need to add my 37 to that. So I start in my ones column. I already have the three plus seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, let's see how many we have. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten. So we're going to trade in all ten of them for one ten. So ten tens, or ten ones for one ten. So now there are zero ones. And we moved over the one. And we have to add the three more from thirty-seven. So one, two, three. So now how many do we have all together? Let's say one, two, three, four. So there are four tens. And there's nothing to add to the hundred, so we have so our three. So we have 340 is our answer. Nice work. Our next one is 211 plus 95. So we're going to do that with our place value chart, and then we're going to write it in vertical form as well. If you want to try this one on your own, that's okay. You should just pause the video and try it on your own if you think you can do it. If not, that's okay. I'm going to walk through it right now. Um, but if you want to try it on your own, go ahead, and then you can check your work with me. So I have my 100, 10s, and 1s, my place value chart. I have 211 plus 95. So first I'm going to show my 211. So I have two hundreds, one ten, and one one. Now I need to add 95. So we start in our ones column and add five ones. One, two, three, four, five. Now let's see how many ones we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have to do anything because it's not more than ten. Now we have one plus nine, our one's already there. Let's add our nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna trade those ten tens in for one hundred. Those are no longer there. So we don't have any tens. So we already have our two there. We traded in our one, so we brought that over. So now we're at one, two plus one, and there's three all together. So 211 plus 95 equals 306. Very nice job. We have one more problem. I want you to try and do this one on your own, and when you're ready, you can come back and check your work with mine. All right, so I have already done my 324 I put on my place value chart. So now I need to add my 156. Remember, we start in our ones column, so we have our four. Now we have to add six more to it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count how many we have in our ones column. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. We got trade in 10 tens or 10 ones, excuse me, for one ten. So now there are no ones, and we brought over in exchange for one 
10. So we have our two and that one that we brought over and then we have to add our five more. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's see how many we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we added the two that were there, the five that we just brought added, and the one we traded in. Now we have three plus one. We have our three. Add one more. What do we get? Got four. So 324 plus 156 is 480. Very nice work. Okay, here's our problem set for today. We're going to be doing the exact same thing that you did when, um, for all of our problems that we were working on. You're going to draw your place value chart. We have your hundreds, your tens, and your ones column. And you want to put it in vertical form. Remember to have your ones lined up and your tens lined up and your hundreds lined up with each other. So number, or part A, is 301 plus 49. Notice that there's no hundreds in 49. Part B is 402 plus 48. Part C is 315 plus 93. And Part D is 216 plus 192. If you need help remembering how to set up your problem, remember to go back to watch some of my, the old, the earlier part of the video so you can see me set up my 100 tens and ones chart and the vertical way. The only one on this page that has a hundreds in both numbers and the number sentence is the 216 and the 109 plus 192. So be careful. You're not adding hundreds or anything else yet. And you're going to do the same thing for E, F, G, and H. So 545 plus 346, 565 plus 226, 222 plus 687, and 164 plus 745. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Make sure you send your work to Miss Fu or I. We're so proud of everything you guys are doing. Um, keep up the hard work. Bye, guys.